Yo, so what's good on Battlefielders? My name is Pwnstar and I toot rainbow sprinkles. How long's it been since you heard that? Yeah, it's been a couple weeks since I've actually done a Battlefield 3 commentary. Feels good. Um, but obviously there's a few things I want to talk about on that. But in the meantime, you won't believe what happened yesterday. Someone really gave me the bird. Take a look at Exhibit A for me. You can see, clearly, there's a dead bird in my mailbox. I don't even know how a dead bird gets in my mailbox. I don't know how a living bird gets in my mailbox. At first glance, I'm like, whoa, you know. At first thing, I, I looked around, checked all the bushes, because I, I really I really pictured like a cat going there, like, yes, yes. I thought he just was like trolling me or something. I left a dead bird in there. And at first, I thought it was some punk kids trying to troll. And then if you take a little bit more time to, I guess, recognize that... He decided it was moving ready and decided to splatter poop all over my mailbox. So, yeah, that was that was fun. It was eventful. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, it's just kind of weird. I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, Pidgeotto totally put a gust of poop all over my thing. But, anyways, uh, I want to talk about a few things Battlefield related. Aggressive Recon is back. It's going to be a show every Saturday. Be prepared, there's going to be a playlist down below, um, and I'm going to try to keep these as consistent as possible. As I promise, I will do at least one Battlefield video a week, and you can guarantee at least an aggressive recon every Saturday, all the way up into Battlefield 4. Um, if I do an extra video or so, it's not uncommon. It's generally going to come down to the time that I have to put into it. Obviously, my main priority is that of my channel. The iPhone Star for Hire channel, not saying I don't plan on playing this, and I have been playing this, but you guys can always find me. One of the things that I'm leaving wide open for you guys, besides my legs, is the availability for you guys to come hang out and play with me all the time. And well, look at these guys, I disabled their vehicle and they all just died. Look at that, it's no more the lols. But one of the things I want to do is leave open to you guys, is you guys can come hang out. There's going to be a link, a few links down below. A couple things you need to understand. There's going to be a link for the Pwn Hub server. We got it for about another month until we have to renew or upgrade to Battlefield 4 or whatever comes first. And you can add that to your favorites. There is also a link for the TeamSpeak server where all of the ponies, we all hang out and have some fun and talk about things and just gather and gossip about dead birds and mailboxes and whatever just fills our boat. And then there is the Twitter and Facebooks. Uh, I, I generally encourage you guys to follow me to keep up to date on almost anything, but that's generally where you find out when I am on the server playing, because the only server I play on is the Pwnhub server. So I would recommend you guys to follow either one of those, or both of those if you want, so you always know when I'm live, when I'm playing, and when you can come out and find me, and hunt after my man tags like everybody else does. So now that that's kind of out there and you guys understand what I'm doing with Battlefield and how often it's going to be back, you may get two videos a week with this. Obviously, when Battlefield 4 comes out, it's going to be kind of a thing where there's going to be a lot of consistency in post posting. Um, but again, I mean, how hard it comes back is probably going to come down to the support of the, the series and, and the videos and everything like that. Because um, it's just one of those things that i got to worry about. But for the most part, my grandma's having sex again. Let that sink in real quick yeah it's kind of abrupt and like whoop yep so i uh i just wanted to share this story she she may not be too thrilled about this but she loves me and i love her and i'm actually happy for it you first first time you know i was told that my grandmother my 70 year old grandmother who's been out of the dating game for 18 years has now got a like 45 year old boyfriend biker guy he's got a harley and you know i'm hearing all this stuff because that's all we all the kind of you know, reconnaissance we have on the guy so far. Um, my mom went to school with him, which makes it creepier, and I think he's dated her best friend. So it's just kind of awkward. But um, I met him. He's a really nice guy. And above all, you know, at first, you know, I was like, oh, my God, nobody wants to know their grandmother's, you know, you, you coitusing it up. You know what I'm saying? Um, but at the same time, I seen how happy she's been. And it was just a fresh reminder to let you know that even if you lose your loved ones or you're 40 or 50 years old and you think that that's, you know, the end of the thing, you're out of the game, tap out, I'm just going to spend the rest of eternity queuing it up and playing video games, um, that it's never too late, apparently. Um, there's evidence to support that theory. And I'm, I'm happy because I've never seen my grandmother this happy. She's been active. She's got friends. She goes gambling. She's got a new boyfriend. I've never seen my grandmother this happy, and it's, it's done nothing. It makes me happy. It makes me smile seeing her this happy, and I've never seen this side of her. So 
It kind of shocked me because the way I found out, because my grandma was like old school, 13 year old, had it on the low low. She's been dating this guy for like, it was four months or six months or something. I didn't tell anyone, not her daughter, not me, nobody. It was like a super, super secret. And she just finds out one day because there was like a girl get together. There was like a wedding or, you know, a Tupperware party or whatever it is females do, a baby shower or something like that, that. They were all all together, and she was talking about how happy she was and how it's been 18 years since she last had sex and everything like that. And I'm like, my God, I couldn't even imagine. But at the same time, I'm like, this is not something I need to know about. But she was excited. She was bragging. She's like, I, I've missed it and everything like that. And I'm I the, the one time I was happy that I was not there when that conversation went down. So it's just, you know, girl talk. You know how guys talk like that. Girls do that, too. Um, but she was excited to share that. She was stoked that she was back in the game. You know what I'm saying? And... I had to find out because my mom actually sat me down. She thought it would hit me pretty hard. You know, she was like, brace yourself, Pone. Your grandmother is intercoursing. And I'm like, no! But, yeah, that's kind of some of those things. And you guys love my love. Uh, you love to see the things in my life going on. And I felt like sharing that story with you. Um, I don't think she's going to be upset about that. I mean, anyone that's dating, obviously, is having sex. Unless your significant other is a rock or a sack or a sock with a rock in it. It depends. Whatever you feel like. But... That's kind of what it generally comes down to. So that's just something I felt like sharing with you guys. I uh, got a dead bird, um, and unfortunately it didn't have like an address. I couldn't return it to sender, but you know, it was just some of those situations, and my grandmother, I had to find out uh, that she's secretly had a boyfriend for you know eight months or something. He's a really cool guy. He's an ex-Marine. I, I, I took him out to lunch the other day. Really cool thing. But that's kind of my story for the day. If you guys would like to see more, let me know. Check in every Saturday for a new Aggressive Recon episode. I want to thank you guys for the support. Click that like button. You know, better yet, smack that like button for the nasty last little triple for the game winner. Thank you, guys. Hopefully you guys are glad this is back. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this or any other th shows that you would like to see soon. And have a marvelous day.